The fall damage in this game is so ridiculous that it's worth 10 sins. Maybe gravity works differently than reality. Or maybe Witcher mutation increases fall damage too. If any Witcher at any point jumps from high ground and doesn't die, a sin will be added. Anna didn't have to ask the crone's help. To give birth at such old age the baby is unlikely to live past a few months anyway. Besides, why would anyone go to such length just to get rid of the baby? In medieval age there's abortion drug already. In a game about wars, there is never a full-sized battle between Nilfgaard and Redania, nor Nilfgaard and Skelliger. If you hadn't cut down every last witness, I'd be a free man. Funny a guy who cut off a king's head seriously thought the hunters wouldn't bring his head to Nilfgaard. Harini Tilly can only summon a random related scene for Geralt but somehow a specific moment for Gales. Talk about picking favorite. The Novigrad questline as a whole. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Ciri. Chuche, the wild hunt was never relevant in Novigrad. Thanks, Triss, you just blew Geralt's 11 hours cover. No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire, he could reappear. If Menger survived, wouldn't he return to the Witch Hunters and have a public display of power considering the Witch Hunters don't need to hide in shadows unlike their prey, and they're more likely to hunt instead of fearing for assassins? Pretty easy for anyone to conclude Menger is dead, and Geralt's plan becomes a joke just like the Novigrad plot. Maybe we could use a play. The whole idea is cheesier than Aramis's cheesy cave. Anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. What a shame. I wanted to see that other play for a change. Story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal. A curse. How original. Immer gives a light. Also, do you seriously think such a famous story isn't already immortalized into a play? The witch hunter who carried Dandelion chose to ride to a remote house instead of Oxenford where they're supposed to send Dandelion to. How convenient for Geralt. Why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Of every crime boss who has mage connection, Dandelion suggested Ciri to go for the worst for help. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foley. Glad of Dorn Ep tonight, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Try remembering a sentence in Hungarian and recite it accurately. I give you a week, more than the time Dandelion spent with Siri in Novigrad. Dandelion is an escaped convict and he sets up shop in broad daylight after he escapes. Roach exists in the game but not Yorvith. Thanks, developers. Now we know what the canon is. Oh yeah. So what's this proposition that's supposed to convince me to share my winnings? No longer on the table. We retrieve the coin together. We shall divide it equally. Getting rid of Contarella and taking your well-deserved prize isn't an option. Besides, how is she supposed to stop the butcher of Blaviken? Finally, Geralt basically did the whole job. Contarella contributed almost nothing to the search. She has no right to the prize, let alone half of it. Halfling herbalist exists in Novigrad. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades, who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. Where did you see Geralt's silver sword? <laughs> Three swords on your back? A bit much, don't you think? Zero plus one is one. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. For a witcher? Seriously? <laughs> no, 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 no. This was worth the wait. <laughs> You can't bitch slap Berna Bran. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! Skiel either abandons his family for a girl he just met or somehow thinks he will still have a family to save when he comes back. When I'm done, I have to Skelliger. Still be alive. Skiel gets off the horse then runs on foot for no reason. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. 
Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Camille blood de droit. Hocus pocus, I reckon that brass brother. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf! The lodge, the lodge has come for me! <laughs> yes? 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 That's one of the healthiest yes I've heard. The Battle of Kaer Morin's idea makes zero sense. Their ultimate goal is to keep Ciri safe from the Wild Hunt, and unless you defeat the whole Wild Hunt, Ciri would never be safe. Keep in mind Geralt's force is just a few guys and the Wild Hunt is a whole army. It is a suicide fight with zero chance of success, and the only thing they would have achieved is to drag some people to die with them meaninglessly. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Which brings to the next point. Geralt rejects Emmer's army over petty reasons, such as who takes the lead when Ciri's life is at stake. Sure, they would take Ciri after they defeat the Wild Hunt, but is it truly worse than the Wild Hunt killing everyone defending Kaer Morhen? And when Emmer wants Ciri, does it really make a difference whether it's Geralt or Morvern who leads the Nilfgaardian soldiers? If Emmer had sent his army, the Battle of Kaer Morhen would have made sense. This is a cheap excuse to not do the Nilfgaard Wild Hunt battle and the first of the two dumbest parts of the game, that it's worth ten sins. Besides, Emmer now knows where Ciri will be and can send the army regardless. Since when did the white flame who dances on his enemy's grave care about Geralt's opinion? Finding Ciri is a dramatic moment, but a cheap reference fetch quest with zero story substance has to be placed before it. What's Aridin after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Aridin's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? If all worlds will be consumed by white frost, wouldn't invading Ciri's world just delay the inevitable? Erdin surely is aware of that in Ciri's ability to stop the white frost, which means he could have saved his world without killing anyone. But no villain has to do villainous things. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Erdin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. If Ciri moved to a world which Erdin can't find, why didn't she stay there? If Ciri returned just to save Geralt, why didn't she return to the other world after she has saved him? Remember she puts worlds at risk by being in those worlds. Ciri should have stayed in Night City because the Wild Hunt would be destroyed by machine guns and nuclear bombs even if they found the cyberpunk world. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. That's a lie. The Wild Hunt conveniently sparing Geralt. Everyone is frozen but not Vesemir who needs to die and Ciri who needs to use her power. Vesemir loses his Witcher senses because the plot needs him to die. Eskel's ears were literally bleeding from Ciri's magic scream but he suffered zero after effects. This could have been a character development opportunity for Ciri and helped emphasize on the importance of Ciri's training. You never get to play Gwent with Ciri. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Probably just wants to talk. Of everyone in this world, Geralt is the last man who'd believe that. Vizima is on the way. Ciri doesn't know geography. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes. Very specific. And thoroughly absurd. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to talk about it, not now at least. Emmer's plan with Ciri was left out of the game, making him seem like just a ruler who wants an heir instead of the incestuous monster that he is in the novel. Silver sword for wild hunt but steel sword for non-human. I guess Ain's shade are closer to humans than to Ain L. If the designers didn't want the player to switch swords frequently in combat, steel swords would have been more logical since there are more elves than dogs in the wild hunt. No chance. 
I'm going after Imlarith. Imlarith is branded as stronger than the crones despite the crones being ancient creatures controlling the whole Velen and Imlarith being just an elf brute with teleportation. It's not just the crones fearing the wild hunt. Geralt literally gave the crones to Ciri because the crones were an easier target. Ha ha ha, Bald Mountain. Who taught you to fight like this? The Witcher you slew. Bald Mountain erupts in anticipation of Geralt's smash of love. Then non-humans. These are about all the non-humans killed by the witch hunters. You've been a neuromancer. You're telling me Gales has to travel to Novigrad because Tirnalia, the capital of elves who teleport everywhere and summon winter, doesn't even have a dreamer. Gales trusts Avalak enough to go to Novigrad alone, and unarmed, surrounded by Geralt, Ciri, Yenfer, Triss. Mind you, Avalak is trusted by no one other than Ciri. You need to calm the horses again even if you've already calmed all of them. One additional guard magically appears. We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Didstra, Redania's smartest man, thinks Radovid, the North's most paranoid man, would believe that. Philippa? What the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Might be tough to trick, but I think I'll manage. Hmm. I hope you take a more serious approach to confronting the Wild Hunt. Provided, of course, you survive long enough to undertake it. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more than pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. A Danian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path or whatnot. Can't 
can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Dijkstra, one of the game's smartest men, tries to kill Roach in front of Geralt which he understands will likely lead to Geralt fighting him, whom he knows he can't defeat with a few men, and the fight will likely result in his own death and Redania's fall. This is the dumbest part in the entire saga, and I think it's worth 20 sins. Long live Radovid! Long live Radovid! Long live indeed! Take a good look at the ships, they're just there for decoration, and there will not even be a naval battle cutscene. Even a deaf man can hear Geralt swimming. When I was a boy, my parents brought me to skeleton huh? What for? Why? There's nothing here but crabs, harpies, and plowing seaweed. Boy, it was a delight to sail out with fishermen. Quite the adventure. Ah yes, just like the Chinese who speak English to each other in Hollywood movies. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. Of course. I'm not going anywhere. You have to use a telescope to see that. Geralt doesn't die from the fall. Follow me. The noble fair must be nearby. They definitely wouldn't have known it was nearby. Caranthir used none of his boss abilities against Ciri who he was more determined to take. Ciri doesn't finish the boss battle when Caranthir is literally her nemesis Akka the biggest teleporter and heir of powerful bloodlines in the wild hunt. Almost, Ciri. Villain wastes time saying villainous things therefore ends up failing cliché. Geralt doesn't die from the fall. Crack died with zero build-up. You'll see. Radovid will move Redania's capital to Novigrad. That's it, Roach. Quick now, Take it easy. Wheel, or will you stay to welcome Radovid's men? The existence of Grey Quest basically forces you to complete quests before you hit a certain level or get close to none experience. Even when a Grey Quest is as challenging as a White Quest when you turn on enemy upscale, the entire Novigrad main quest couldn't even raise a level due to this reason, as I prefer to finish Velen's content first. Being forced to do certain content before the others is the first thing an open world game should avoid. Level locking for maps, basically soft forcing you to do the Velen Novigrad Skelliger path every playthrough even in NG+. Loading screen doesn't tell you when the loading is complete for you to skip the story, forcing you to spam the skip button. If you don't know how to skip, good luck, you're hearing the same story you already know every time you travel between world spaces. Good luck climbing a cliff when you enter battle. I guess Foltest is the north. Kedwen, Redania and Edern are non-existent. A game with beloved characters, emotional storyline. A vibrant world. I bought Cyberpunk 2077 because of it.